It's hard to digest the fact that the land of the free doesn't allow 100% freedom to food lovers. There are just too many delicious foods that people worldwide have the liberty to savor, but the Americans have to miss out on because they're banned in the US. In today's video, we're taking a look at which 12 foods Americans are strictly banned from eating and why. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to tell us in the comments which of these foods you wish were not banned in the United States. Number 12. Redfish Redfish gained fame when the New Orleans celebrity chef Paul Prudhomme introduced the Americans to many dishes incorporating red and blackfish in the 1980s. A craze developed for eating this fish over time, but it ended up causing the near depletion of the entire species in the U.S. waters. To prevent the human appetite from utterly wiping out the fish, the U.S. Commerce Department decided to put its foot down and force redfish fisheries to close their doors in 1986. From 1980 to 1986, the limit of redfish taken from the waters skyrocketed from 2.7 million pounds to 8.9 million pounds. Therefore, since 1986, the U.S. has made all commercial fishing of redfish illegal. You can, however, get hold of the farmed redfish in case you're craving one of those scrumptious redfish dishes. Number 11. Horse meat. Now, technically, eating horse meat isn't illegal in the US, but slaughtering horses is. So, not much of a difference because you just can't get horse meat to eat unless you can come up with an extensive and intelligent plan to justify slaughtering a horse or consuming its meat. This ban was extended and endorsed by President Trump in 2018. The disgrace associated with horse meat consumption stems from the cultural taboo the Americans have inherited from their British ancestors, as the English consider horses as sacred companions of humans. The only time consuming horse meat was permitted in Britain was during the rationing era of World War II. Contrary to the US and Britain, countries like Italy, Belgium, France, Switzerland and Germany openly consume horse meat, and it's known to be one of the healthier red meats. Another reason horse meat is banned in the US is that it's quite openly and abundantly consumed in Mexico, so people tend to take the horses across the border, slaughter them, and bring back their meat to the US. Although the US does not react leniently to such actions, and they have led to some high-profile cases of horse smuggling and rustling, where superior quality breeds and racehorses have ended up on the food platters. Number 10. Haggis at number 10, we have Scotland's national dish, but unfortunately for many Americans who take pride in their Scottish lineage, this dish has been banned in the US. Now its name might not be as appealing as the taste. Haggis can be classified as a savory kind of pudding, constituted mainly of sheep, heart, lung, and liver. These are then mixed with oats, stock, onion, and suet. If this wasn't enough to make you reconsider eating this dish, let's tell you that the dish is served in the stomach of a sheep. Crazy, right? As unappetizing as it sounds, haggis is popularly eaten with another ancient Scottish national dish, the deep-fried Mars bar. Scottish people who take pride in their heritage celebrate Burns Night, which is the celebration of their most favorite poet Robert Burns, by eating a big plate full of haggis. But you must be wondering why exactly can't Americans consume haggis? This is because of the half-a-century-old import ban on sheep lungs. The ban was imposed because the government and scientists were worried about the possible spread of scrappy, a degenerative disease of sheep. This ban, however, doesn't only include the sheep lungs, rather all animal lungs have been banned for human consumption by the United States. While the fear of disease is justified, the sheep lungs have failed to cause any damage to the Scots, who still eat this dish and eat it quite frequently. Number 9. Kasu Mazu One must wonder what the person who first made cheese was thinking. Solidified, mold-covered, days-old milk is not something you just eat out of whim. It might have been a risk, but we know now that not only did they survive, but liked it so much that even centuries later, cheese is one of the most sought-after food items worldwide. But the Kasumazu of Sardinia is a little bit different. Because rotten milk wasn't enough for them, they decided to add fly larvae to the rotten milk for a superior taste and flavor. In other terms, maggots were added to the milk to produce this creamy cheese. It's a sheep cheese that's treated with maggots. Now, this one is rightfully banned because eating maggots can lead to a lot of health hazards. They don't just inhabit your gut as long as the cheese does. Rather, they can live on in your intestines and cause diseases such as pseudomyasis. Therefore, this cheese has been banned by the whole of the European Union and the USA. The name Kasumazu means rotten cheese. Take a hint, people. Number 8. Shark fins. Shark finning is a brutal practice where sharks are fished from the water, 
Their fins are cut off, and the shark itself is thrown back into the water where it's bound to die. It's common in China, as shark fin soup is an expensive delicacy there since the 10th century. It's not surprising that this practice is illegal in many countries, as it's not only cruel, but because of the rising popularity of shark fish soup in China and other countries that are home to large Chinese populations, it's led to a dangerous decrease in shark population. Although in the US the shark fin consumption is illegal in only 12 states, the practice of shark finning, however, has been banned since the year 2000. Despite these bans, you can buy the ingredients of shark fin soup and eat it in 38 states. Not a very effective law, we must point out. The situation has made a lot of animal rights activists extremely unhappy. After all, many countries have banned the consumption, while some have gone so far as to ban shark fishing altogether. So why is this still a topic for debate in the US? Number 7. Foie Gras This one is a pretty famous French delicacy. We all know the food from France is superior in both taste and sophistication, and foie gras is no exception. This is a pâté with unique buttery smoothness and is made from the liver of ducks or geese. To say this dish isn't cheap would be an understatement, as it sells for as high as $75 a pound. But the reason this food has provoked negative opinion amongst the American people has nothing to do with the ingredients, rather it's because of the way it's produced. There's a particular requirement when cooking the foie gras that the geese used in its making need to have an extraordinarily fatty liver. The name foie gras translates to fatty liver, so for this reason the geese need to be force-fed until their liver is fatty and ripe enough, and unfortunately a lot of people consider this practice unethical, and such treatment of the bird is classified as animal abuse, if not everywhere, at least in the US. Starting in California, the ban was then imposed by New York and many other states have followed, Although one could question the pig factories and all the cows that get slaughtered to meet the massive American appetite for the Big Mac, and it might make this ban on foie gras seem a little hypocritical, but it seems like this ban is here to stay anyway. Number 6. Japanese Pufferfish The pufferfish isn't much of a looker, with its appearance being a tad bit ridiculous, but don't be deceived by its bloated face and spiny body, because this fish has a lot to offer. The Japanese pufferfish is extremely venomous. There's an organ in its body that produces a neurotoxin which finds its way inside the human body and can induce muscle paralysis and even death. You'll be amazed to know that despite the toxicity, the Japanese love to eat it. It takes an excessively skilled chef to remove the poisonous organ safely and ensure the non-toxic meat is free of any hint of venom. This is necessary because in the past many mistakes have happened and dozens of Japanese people have died from the consumption of the pufferfish poison. This is why restrictions were tightened in Japan, but in the United States, people chose not to even take the risk with fugu, and its consumption was completely banned due to the toxicity. There are a few licensed practitioners who've been permitted to prepare and serve fugu in the US. Another issue with this fish is the family members of the Japanese puffer inhabit the waters of Florida, but unlike the Japanese fish, they're mostly entirely toxic, with little to no safe meat to spare so there's a greater risk of intoxication and fatalities from this fish in the US. Number 5. The infamous Kinder Surprise These small chocolate eggs are super popular among children all across Europe, especially in Italy where they were first created back in 1974. These eggs are a tribute to the long-standing Italian and French tradition of baking coins into desserts, with the luckiest family member getting the slice with the prize. The reason why the Kinder Egg is a fan favorite is that its delicious egg contains a surprise toy inside, and we don't know about kids, but the thought of a cute little gift inside our chocolate excites us. The USA, however, chose to ban the egg for the reason that it may be a potential choking hazard, even though the chocolate egg is separately sealed from the toy. But the US decided it's better not to take a risk with the health of a child, as there are a few reported cases of kids choking to death from the Kinder Egg toys. Number 4. Absinthe Absinthe became popular across Europe in the 19th century, and by the early 20th century, it had become the top choice for the Parisians. The drink, however, has a Swiss origin and is made from macerated plants and herbs. One of these plants, called wormwood, is the reason behind the illegal status of this drink in the USA. This plant is extremely hallucinogenic, and since many countries in Europe along with the USA reconsidered their policies on drugs around the time of World War II, Absinthe was completely banned in many countries, including the US and France. Most producers of absinthe stashed their product in a warehouse in the Netherlands and went to war, hoping the ban would be lifted after the war was over. This, however, never happened, and eventually the warehouse was destroyed by a German bomb strike. 
Number 3. Queen Conch This is a kind of sea snail native to the Caribbean and tropical northwest Atlantic Ocean. It's known to be one of the largest mollusks that inhabit the region and can grow up to the size of 14 inches. These have been in demand by humans for centuries, and the natives use these as decoration, but the modern trend of queen conch shell collection has adversely affected the entire species. Therefore, the US decided to regulate its fishing to prevent the excessive fishing of the conch with hopes of preserving the creature. The queen conches aren't just popular for their shells, though. They've also been a crucial part of the West Indian cuisine and many islands of southern Florida. Not only this, but conchers are also known for their use in making tribal weapons and have a spiritual value for the Aztecs, who believe that the sound produced from blowing on the conch shell is a divine trumpet call. Number 2. Unpasteurized Milk Raw milk may not be prohibited at a federal level, but many states, including California and New York, have outlawed its sale. Unpasteurized milk is an important part of the diet in quite a few cultures, especially in Europe, but the US has a different stance on the matter. It's important to know that raw milk is perfectly healthy and safe as long as the standard regulations are followed and hygiene is practiced. It's also less likely to cause sickness in humans than mass-produced pasteurized milk. In the past, the urban migrations led to an increased demand for raw milk in the cities, but since it was supplied without much adherence to the safety standards, it resulted in causing increased sickness and therefore pasteurized milk became the new normal. There is, however, a way around the law, but it's not very feasible, as you'd have to buy your own cow and milk it daily, not to mention the problem of keeping a cow in your 20th floor apartment. Number 1. Caviar It was back in 2005 when the United States Fish and Wildlife Service prohibited all beluga products, including beluga caviar consumption. The caviar was a pretty sought-after delicacy in the food world and not very cheap, with a price tag of $200. Since eating caviar became a status symbol, this food item derived from the beluga sturgeon gained so much popularity, its market demand increased to the point where the source became an endangered species. The poor fish could not keep up with the exaggerated requirement. After all, feeding the starving and deprived multi-millionaires was a task too heavy for a tiny little fish. The US not only banned its consumption in their territory, but also demanded that the nations bordering the Caspian Sea, which is the home to the sturgeon, should provide documented proof of their efforts directed towards the preservation of the fish, and to ensure that these efforts match the expectations of the US. Those nations included Iran, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, and Russia, and none of these were able to provide the documents, which led the US to impose a ban on beluga products, causing an economic demise to these nations. No doubt these countries aren't considered friends of the US. Although saving the sturgeon is possible now since the eggs are being removed by massage, and this method ensures the egg removal without harming or killing the fish. Iran produces the rarest kind of beluga caviar that's called almas. It's obtained from the albino sturgeon aged between 6 and 8 years old. Being so rare and difficult to produce, almas comes with a hefty price tag of around $800 for an ounce but there's no chance you'll find a vendor or supermarket selling it in the US. So that was all about the foods the USA has banned its citizens from consuming. If we missed any, do tell us in the comments. For more informative content, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to turn on the notifications. See you all next time.